If you've watched any of our videos before, you're aware that we do a lot of videos on sustainable building practices. But on today's video, we're gonna be talking about sustainable landscaping practices, and we're gonna showcase some things that were implemented here on a home that we built 10 years ago. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to consider is hard surfaces and where you're using them in your landscaping. So usually there's gonna be some patios, there's gonna be a driveway like what we're standing in here. There are a lot of products out there that will allow less runoff to happen. In this case, all the homeowners did was leave the GA. It's good for them, it works for them. There's less runoff, it's not going to absorb as much as say what the lawn would do, but it does absorb a lot more than asphalt because everything's gonna run off of something like asphalt. So another thing that we're used to in our expectations is that we all have perfect lawns in front of our house and we don't have any weeds. So we spray chemicals all over our lawns and we cut our grass every week and we're using, whether it's gas lawnmower or an electric lawnmower, we're always using something that requires energy and our time, which is energy, and then money as well to maintain something that doesn't really need to be maintained that well and it actually is not great for the environment. So what we're standing on right now is called Ecolawn. It's a blend of fine fescue grasses that form a slow growing drought tolerant turf. It germinates fairly quickly and can grow in full sun, partial shade and even deep shade. So what this grass does is significantly reduces the amount of water that you need, significantly reduces the amount of maintenance and time and money you need to put into it. And it's kind of nice not having to listen to your neighbor mow their lawn every week because this only needs to be cut about once a month. The next principle might be obvious, but I wanna say it anyways, and that is to grow native plants. They will be used to the local weather and the soil conditions, and they won't need any additional fertilizer. They're rarely invasive. They're unlikely to need supplemental watering or irrigation, which means that they conserve water. They're naturally low maintenance, and they preserve biodiversity. This also means avoiding non-native plants as they could wreak havoc on your garden and the surrounding area. But check with your local horticulture association and get guidance from them before you go too far. Sticking with native plants will also promote pollinators such as butterflies, bees, wasps, and moths, which are extremely vital to our ecosystem and our food supply, which is also another reason why we should be avoiding pesticides. And lastly, if you have even a little bit of space, you can start growing your own food, reduce the strain on the supply system, and actually become more connected with your food. There's nothing better than being able to walk out to your own garden and pick something fresh right before you eat it. Hey builders, I know it's not easy out there. It is a tough environment right now and we need more conscious builders now than we ever did previously. So that's why for the month of August, we are giving a 75% discount on everything at the Conscious Builder Academy. For one low price, you'll get access to the entire academy and you'll be able to do things like master your sales and marketing for high performance homes and renovations. You'll be able to boost your profits. You'll be able to solve conflict like a pro and you'll be able to improve the management of your clients and your team and so much more. And on top of that, you'll get access to everything for life. This is no ordinary deal. We've never done this before and we will never do it again. This is only running until the end of August. So to take advantage of this extraordinary deal, head to theconsciousbuilder.com slash summer bundle or click the link in the video description below.